there's a twist in this book that you guys will never see coming. Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron, the book quester. Today, I have this awesome book. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, the second book of The Hunger Games, sequel to The Hunger Games, book one. And there will be a third one, Mockingjay, that I will read soon enough and do a review. Don't worry. Let's get right on to it. Katniss Everdeen, the main character of this book. She has survived the first year of the last year of Hunger Games, and she has won. But that little act of rebellion that she has done at the end of the last Hunger Games, that little bit of rebellion. Hunger Games are supposed to have only one victor, but she had taken out death berries, well, berries that are absolutely poisonous, called Nightlock, and she uses them as a threat to say capital, that if there is going to be one victor, there will, the rather, she, she'd rather have none. And she shares it with her lover, Pita, and together they are pretending to be about to eat the berries, and the games end, because if there is no victor, it will be kind of hard for the game makers to live, you know what I mean? And so, Katniss and Pita had survived. But Snow, she had said that the districts had seen that final act of de defiance against the capital as an act of rebellion, of an act of uprising, and she senses that there will be uprising soon enough. Very. And she threatens Gale. Um, let's say the real love of Katniss Everdeen. That she will die if she doesn't convince him and the rest of the district that Peter and Katniss are actually in love. And not just a strategy to get some points for them in Hunger Games. And they try, but they fail. And then Snow decides to just get rid of all his problems. He decides that this year's Hunger Games, the Quarter Quill, that it's been 25 years since the Hunger Games have been made. And this 25, this 25th Hunger Games, or well, the Quarter Quill, it's gonna have all the victors that have won inside. Very evil. It gets cat. It gets cat. It gets her catness back into the game. And this time, the capital thought that she would be able to survive. But Hamish, our dear drunk Hamish, he was the last winner, and he hides that all behind a mask of sarcasm and drunkenness. But actually, he's smart. And he's been, he's been making a rebellion. He's been planning a rebellion for a long time. And he uses Katniss as a sign of the de de defiance. The Mockingjay. The creator that the capital has never thought that they would make. An unexpected make. Capital had made Jabberjays. Jabberjays were the shame of the capital. Jabberjays were, well, thrown into the wild. And the Jabberjays and the Mockingbirds. They made it, and they had mocking jays. And those mocking jays, the sign, the symbol that is on Katniss when she first entered the games. Now it is the sign of an rebellion. The mocking jay, beautiful. And Hamish, he uses adva he advantages. The situation and gets Katniss and rescues Katniss and other victors. And other victors knew of this plan except of Pita and Katniss herself. And she was the mascot. And without her, the rebellion could not go on. And she, Hamish knew that she had, she had to live. That is the unexpected twist. Mostly because Hamish. He looks drunk, he's so stupid, and he doesn't help at all. But he does it. But the sad thing is that Pita, he is captured by the capital. 
and Hamid had let him. And Katniss totally claws Hamid, and everyone tries to bound, bind her, and then just throw shots on her to stun her and everything. And the book ends with Katniss crying her eyes out. Because it was her plan all along for this Hunger Games for the winner to be Pita, and for her to die. And that is the unexpected twist in the book. And it is a really great book, a must read, and... Well, because I told you, you'll know when the twist is coming. But still, guys, try to enjoy the book. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the Book.